Hey, what's going on YouTube? James and Jay Kramer Fitness Protein Review Guide. Today we are going to go ahead and take a look at Buck Duff's All Natural Protein Powder. You're here because you're curious about Buck Feed Protein, the all natural grass fed contender in the natural protein world. Sounds impressive on paper, right? Well, spoiler alert, not everything is sunshine or rainbows. Today we're taking a hard look of what's in the tub, what's missing from the label, and whether Buckfeed is worth its premium price tag. So buckle up because we're about to dig into the ingredient profile, tackle the transparency issues, and find out if Buckfeed Protein is a post-workout powerhouse or just another Mark Me a Hype train. All right, let's take a look at how it stacks up against its sibling, Buckfeed Original Formula. On surface, they might seem similar, but trust me, the differences run deeper than you think. Let's dive into what sets these two apart. Let's break this down because these two proteins have more drama than a reality TV show. The original formula, there's a strong possibility it's sourced from China, which might be explained the questionable validity of its isolate concentrate mix. Also, if you saw my original review, it came out thicker than a normal isolate and concentrate. Meanwhile, the grass-fed option boasts a cleaner ingredient profile and shape quality that behaves like you'd expect it from an isolate concentrate blend. Mix it smoothly, no gloopy surprises. Here's the kicker. Grass-fed is more expensive. You're paying a premium for a cleaner image and a better shape consistency, but neither option provide the transparency you'd hope for. So what's the difference? Grass-fed is the I eat organic friend who forgets to mention they still love fries, while the original formula is the friend with the sketchy past who says, just trust me. Now that we spilt the tea on the differences between grass-fed and the original formula, let's address something that might make or break your decision, trust. On the CGMP standards, that means it is manufactured under strict FDA guidelines for cleanliness, safety, and quality control. Think of it as sharing the factory floors and a free-for-all for a mess. Great, right? Outside of CGMP, there's no third-party testing. No independent verification confirmed claims of the 100% grass-fed, hormone-free, or even non-GMO. When I did reach out to Buck Duff for an amino acid profile, crickets. Without those extra layers of transparency, we are left guessing about what's actually in the tub. So while CGMP ensures it's made safely, it doesn't tell us much about the quality of the protein or the validity of the bold claims found on the container. Let's talk about the one big buzzword plastered all over the container, grass-fed. Sounds great, doesn't it? But here's the thing. Just because something says grass-fed doesn't mean it's, you know, grass-fed. So is Buckfed living up to the name or is it just some kind of clever marketing wizardry? Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, let's break it down. Buckfeed grass-fed protein boldly claims to be a 100% grass-fed, which sounds wholesome and premium, especially at the $65 price tag. But here's the catch. These claims are not third-party verified. That's right, no independent certification to back up whether those cows are grass-fed munchers or something else entirely. When I contacted Buck Duff for more details, I asked for the basics. Guess what? They didn't provide either one leaving us nothing but their word on the label. You expect a little bit more transparency from a protein powder priced at $65, right? So is it really grass-fed? Without third-party verification, we don't know. There are better options out there. How does buck feed protein stack up against the competition? I'm comparing it to three heavyweights in the protein powder world, On Gold Standard, Transparent Labs, and Asian Roots. Each will get its own spotlight, so let's break it down and see who comes out on top. Kicking it off with the heavyweight battle on Gold Standard Whey versus Buckfeed Protein. Two well-known proteins, but which one stands out? Examining the protein amount per serving, Buckfeed gives you 25 grams of protein per serving, slightly edging out On's 24. However, On Gold Standard is transparent about its leucine and BCAA content, 2.6 grams of leucine and 5.5 grams of total BCAAs crucial for muscle recovery. Buckfeed, not a thing. This lack of transparency is a knock against the brand. Let's go ahead and take a look at the price point. On Gold Standard really shines at 87 cents per serving. This is Amazon pricing. It's less than half the cost of Buckfeed's 217 per serving. That is a very massive price gap, especially when On offers more servings compared to Buckfeed's. My verdict, On Gold Standard way takes this round by delivering more value and transparency. 
With verified leucine content, more servings, and a significantly lower price point. However, you do have to admit though, Buckfeed does offer an all natural ingredient profile. The winner in this round goes to On Gold Stamp. Look at Transparent Labs versus Buckfeed grass fed. It's just not about protein, it's about truth and labeling. Let's go ahead and break it down with these facts. Transparent Labs puts its money where its mouth is, verified by lab door to ensure no amino spiking and no illegal substances. That's a big time green flag, but here's the catch. There are grass fed claims not verified. So while the transparency on the label is stellar, there is a sliver of mystery when it comes to the actual grass fed sourcing. If you're looking at carbs, Transparent Labs beats buck feed with just one gram of carb per serving compared to buck feeds two. Buck feed takes the edge with 120 versus the 130 offered by Transparent Labs. But here's the real story, it's in the price. $1.80 per serving for Transparent Labs versus $2.17 per serving for buck feed. Here's my takeaway. Transparent Labs is verified where it counts, protein integrity, but neither products nailed the grass for verification. Now that we've examined Transparent Labs, let's go ahead and take it up a notch, take a look at Aegean Roots grass fit weight. Buck feed against the true heavyweight in the grass fed protein world. One claims high quality and backs it up with essentially all the third party verifications. Let's see how back buck feed stacks up against the final boss. Let's start with the protein content. Asian Roots ages out buck feed with 25 grams of protein per serving compared to buck feed's 25. While, I, while one gram difference doesn't sound that much, it's paired with transparency. Asian Root shares the full amino acid profile, including the robust 3.05 grams of leucine per serving, which is vital for muscle growth. When it comes to carbs, Asian Roots maintains a leaner profile with just one gram of carb versus a bucked up two grams. And sugars, Asian Roots delivers a clean zero while bucked up sneaks in two grams. For those looking to cut unnecessary sugars and products, Asian Roots takes the crown here especially if you're living that keto lifestyle. Now let's go ahead and talk about price. Asian Roots is $69.99 for 47 servings, making it a, about $1.49 per serving, compared to that bucked up pricing of $64.99, only getting 30 servings. And you can really see their value really shines with Asian Roots. Now that we've dissected how bucked up measures up against its competitors, now let's go ahead and get personal. Is one scoop really enough to fuel, recovery, and muscle growth. You're holding your trusty bucked up buck feed protein tub and you're about to go ahead and dump a scoop into your shaker. The question is, is one scoop really enough to hit that sweet spot for muscle recovery? Bucked up with water, you're getting 25 grams of protein per scoop, but here's the real deal. You don't know how much leucine is in that scoop. Since research suggests you need 25 grams of protein with up to three grams of leucine for optimal muscle protein synthesis, one scoop in water may not fully do the job. To get closer to that three gram leucine threshold, I recommend bumping up the post-workout scoops to one and a half. You're getting a better chance of hitting that leucine target to stimulate muscle growth. Or you got option two, using high protein skim milk. And this is my recommendation because I firmly believe this protein powder, based on my research, is amino spike. The combo puts you close to that muscle protein synthesis target without needing extra scoops. Use those scoop suggestions and build ourselves a shape. All right, so directions are as follows. Use eight to 12 ounces of cold water or other liquid per scoop of protein. Keep container tightly closed in a cool, dry place. I have my Pure Choice Farm Shaker Daily Driver. We got one big boy scoop going in, such. One half baby boy scoop going in. Shaker, top, lock her up, go ahead, shake. All right, so we're at the halfway point. Please leave a like if you found the video informational and helped you become a more informed buyer. Please subscribe because I do weekly protein powder reviews. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how things mix up. As you can see here, small cake bits there. Looking at the top underneath the shaker as such, I gave this a very high score. And then of course the flavor I'm reviewing today or take a taste test on chocolate peanut butter. Cheers. The first thing you taste, very strong. I won't say it's almost a borderline dark chocolate taste. And then of course the peanut butter washes over that chocolate flavor. The peanut flour does offer that peanut taste. 
I do have to share though that the flavoring, it could be, it, it's borderline bitter, but at the same time, I don't think it's too much to be uh, a negative taste. Is it the best peanut butter flavor that I ever had? No, I think it does a very sauce serviceable job in regards to the pe chocolate peanut butter flavoring. All right, let's wrap up this Buckbeat protein journey by laying it all out there. Pros. This is what Buckbeat gets right. All natural ingredients. If you're someone who appreciates a minimal clean ingredient profile, Bucked Up checks the box. No artificial sweeteners, colors, or fillers. Great mixability. Very little to no clumps and no mess. Whether you shake it in water or milk, it bl blends smoothly, leaving no powdery residue. It's also a great low carb option. For those watching their macros, this serving only offers two grams of carbs per serving. Obviously that depends on the flavor that you select. Of course, convenience for outdoor enthusiasts. This protein is marketed towards outdoor lovers. It's quick, low calorie shake for those who want a grab and go option over trail mixes, energy bars, or candy bars. Cons. What bucked up fails? It falls short on not providing amino acid profile. Without an amino acid breakdown, there's no way to verify leucine content. This lack of transparency raises concerns about amino spiking. Absence of a detailed amino acid profile does raise concerns and transparency doubt about the true quality of the protein content you are purchasing. $65 for 30 servings is expensive. Doesn't align well with the lack of third-party verification where compared to other premium priced proteins at the similar price point. The product claims to be manufactured in the USA, not doubting that. It oddly admits to using domestic and imported ingredients, leaving its whey source unclear. I firmly believe this protein quality is higher when compared to the original feed. This truly has the feel of an isolate with a blend of a concentrate. You will not experience a, a thick mess when drinking this protein powder. Conclusion of digestive enzymes suggests this protein powder may have undergone a high heat processing, which is very unusual for a claimed grass-fed protein powder, which reaffirms my belief this protein powder isn't a 100% grass-fed protein. You're probably asking the ultimate question, is Bucked Up good? Let's go ahead and break it down and give you a clear answer. Bucked Up All Natural Protein does have strengths. Clean ingredient list, smooth mixability, decent flavor options, for those focused on low carb or all natural options, it may seem like a decent choice. Here's the kicker. The price tag doesn't match the level of transparency or quality you'd expect. No amino acid profile, no BCAA breakdown, or third party verification for its grass fed claims. It's hard to fully trust what you're getting. For $65, there are more transparent and verified proteins available. In short, fucked up all natural isn't bad. It's just not good enough for the price. Let's go ahead and sum it all up and see where Bucked Up All Natural Protein lands. Bucked Up All Natural skips the amino acid profile and leucine content per serving, leaving buyers in the dark about essential muscle building metrics. This lack of third party testing or a COA raises questions about the product's quality and grass fed claims. Mucked up boasts an all natural ingredient list and clean mixability. The premium $65 price tag doesn't align with what you're actually getting. Other verified same price proteins like Transparent Labs and even the cheaper Aegean Roots offers better transparency and value for a lower cost. If you're an outdoor enthusiast or fitness fan drawn to the all natural and grass fed marketing, the lack of transparency and potential amino spiking are hard to overlook. While the protein does mix well and offers a decent shake experience, unverified claims are a deal breaker for serious athletes looking to optimize performance. The high price and the lack of transparency make this protein a tough sell. While the branding might appear to be a niche audience, the product fails to deliver the quality of verification expected to for a premium price point. For your hard-earned cash, you can find better proteins elsewhere. My final grade, save your money. All right, review done. So what do you think about Bucked Up All Natural Protein? Is it worth the $65 price tag or do you think it's the lack of transparency outweighs all its natural appeal? Drop your thoughts in the comments downstairs. I'd love to hear what you think. Below is the link for all my unbiased protein reviews and the full written review for my bucked up all natural protein. And I just want to say thank you for watching. 
make it a great day.